You have another question? My name is Gent. I'm the vice president of the economics. Oh, Street. Mr. Vice President. Nice to meet you. Uh, so my question is, and it was stated several times that you work with a lot of executives and their like companies and such. I don't know how much background you have in governmental work, but you did mention that their program and how it failed to scale simply because yes. it went on the wrong course. Uh, who would you find it harder to work with? as an academic and as a consultant? Is it more governmental entities or private corporations? Like who are the harder ones to work with when it comes to theory? Yeah, it's a great question. So I would probably say government for, for one specific reason. Um, with firms, you pretty much know what the objective function is with, you know, when I worked with Uber and Lyft early on, it was, it's kind of known it's about growth. And then right around the IPO, it was about profitability at Walmart. It's about GMV. That's what they call top line. And it's also about bottom line. So it, it's sort of clear what we're trying to do as an org and how we want to try to get there. In government, it was interesting because, look, I helped write a bill. I was really the author of a bill called um, the Clear Skies Act. And my bet is nobody in the room has ever heard of the Clear Skies Act. Okay, so here's what that is. It's a cap and trade scheme on power plants to take on or curb socks, knocks, and mercury. So I write this bill. I have this great auction, this Isabel auction that's going to be really cool. I've done a ton of experiments on it, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I worked with Hillary Clinton, who is just, just was just killing it. She was in charge of the EPW committee back then. That's called Environment and Public Works. So they're responsible for all of the environmental legislation on the Senate floor. So Senator Clinton and I work together. She takes it to her committee. And she reported back to me that evening and said, John, this has never happened before. And I was thinking, this is going to be great bipartisan support of my bill. She said, you didn't get one positive vote. Both sides. <laughs> Both sides voted no. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> this is a bill I was working at the time with in Bush II. It was, it was 2003, 2004. Later on, I worked for Barack. When he went there, I worked for him in the DOC. Um, but I said, what? <laughs> she said, yeah, all the Republicans hated it because you included mercury. All the Democrats hated it because you didn't have carbon. So this is a bill that I had no support. So then when I was talking to people, um, it, that was just sort of symbolic of you never really know. You kind of know that the policymaker wants to help their constituents, but they want to help their constituents until something else happens. And then they have a different objective function. So it was, it was different in the sense that whenever we were in a room, there were people with very different objectives working within the same government. And I totally get checks and balances, et cetera, et cetera. But that just made it harder because one person might value equity much more than efficiency. The other person values a little bit of them both the same. The other one doesn't want either of them. They just want to be able to go back to their interest groups and tell them how they got the interest group's money. And so that all, and it was changing too. It wasn't, if that would have been static, it would have been fine. But, but it was changing, which made it harder as well. Okay, now the second point I want to make is something about scaling. And I think this is an important point to make about the, the big difference between government and private around scaling is with government, once like an idea is, is rolled out, Usually you don't figure out if that idea is working for 5, 10, 15 years. And by the time you figure it out, there are these deep entrenched vested interests that make it nearly impossible to reverse it. So I would always argue everything should be sunsetted. 
And it really highlights that in government, it's really important to get it right before you roll it out because it's really hard to bring it back in once you roll it out. Where in the firm space, you roll something. I rolled a lot of ideas out. Lift green, walk and save, wait and save, fast pass. I was in charge of the tipping a rollout at Uber. So nearly every one of those ideas, once it was rolled out, if it wasn't working, you could, you could recast, take it back and recast. The only idea that really wasn't like that was tipping. So my team was responsible for rolling out tipping in the Uber app the summer of 2017. And we knew that that rollout would be impossible to take back. Because once drivers had the right to receive tips in the app, we knew if you took that back, there would be a huge strike. So we were super careful before we rolled that out because that rollout was really a lot like government rollouts in that really hard to bring it back. Okay, that was a little bit more than you bargained for, Mr. Vice President, but I hope that was helpful.